Sometimes after testing for tuberculosis, the test result will come back positive, whether it's the skin test or the blood test. Most of the time, my patients are concerned, what does this mean for the USCIS application and how long of a delay will they have? The answer to that is it depends a great deal on what that positive test represents. For example, most times the civil surgeon will have you do a chest x-ray to look for signs of active tuberculosis. The civil surgeon will also talk with you and see if you have any symptoms of active tuberculosis, such as a cough or night sweats. The civil surgeon will also ask that you have a sputum sample done to look for signs of germs being produced in the lungs. If these things come back positive, you would be classified as class A tuberculosis, meaning you have active disease. If you have active disease, you can't complete the USCIS exam until you've completed treatment for tuberculosis, and this can take as long as a year. This is the worst case scenario. For most people, there's no signs of active disease. They're classified as class B or latent tuberculosis. If you have latent tuberculosis, as soon as you begin treatment to make sure the tuberculosis doesn't become active, then you can go ahead and complete the USCIS paperwork. The delay here is only one or two weeks. The most important thing to remember is that a lot of the delay time depends on how fast you go about getting the chest x-ray done and how fast you return to the civil surgeon to go over the information. So in general, the delay could be anywhere from one to two weeks to as long as a year, depending on what that positive tuberculosis test represents. You need to discuss this with your civil surgeon and find out which route you'll need to go and what you'll need to do to make sure that you're healthy and you meet qualifications for the USCIS exam.